Hi, this time we'll draw a Persian cat. Are you ready? Because this will be a hairy experience. I grab a brown pencil and start with a fantastic squiggle. Here you need to imagine that I'm squiggling the body and the tail of a cat. Then I add a few different colors to make the squiggle fresh and solid. As I'm building it up, I make it a bit darker at the top where the eyes will go. Then I draw a pair of eyes and a nose on a piece of paper and cut it out. Then I glue it to the top of the squiggle where I colored the darkest. See now we have a nice contrast between light eyes and dark background. Now we can squiggle on the ears too. I use the word squiggle instead of draw because I want to keep this whole drawing nice and loose. Then the whole thing takes on a fun and different kind of look. Then we take the moustache. They are squiggles going up on each side. Next we use a darker color underneath the moustache as a shadow. Then we get a nice contrast in the moustache as well. When it's all squiggled up, we are ready for the details. First, the paws. They are just barely sticking out from underneath all the woolly cat fur. Then we draw a little friend for the Persian cat as well. It could be a little mouse. And the mouse thinks that the cat looks so funny with all the woolly fur that it's laughing its head off. And so the cat is frustrated. And the way we show frustration is to draw a frustration squiggle right above its head. Let's watch it one more time. Step one, make a fantastic squiggle. Step two, draw eyes and a nose, cut it out and stick it on. Step three, Squiggle ears and moustache. Step 4. Draw details like paws, the mouse friend and the frustration squiggle. And you have a genuine frustrated Persian cat. I think they look a bit like walking wigs. Maybe I should get one for my head. Wanna see more? Subscribe and see more videos.